Welcome to the Designing It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in original pattern drafting and learning how to edit pieces to exactly what we want. I like to design things in standard garment styling and then open them in here and further modify them. So let's take this cardigan for my husband that we created in standard garment styling. And here is the pieces that make up that garment. I can select any piece as the active piece. Let's work with this piece right now. Centralize this piece. First, turn the point numbering on. And I would like to smooth this out a little bit by adding in, using this, plus sign, adding in individual points, and then turn the plus sign off when you're done, or it will keep adding points. I can click on a point and I can drag it exactly where I want to get this smooth. So that's looking good. I would also, let's turn the point numbering off, I would also like to know this distance from here to here. And we do that using this measure edge. And I click on the first point I want to measure. And it's making a little measuring tape. And I can go from point to point, but I can also go multiple points down to here and measure this whole armhole edge for this piece. And here, it's the front left piece. If I change my tensions to seven and 10 rows to the inch, this distance is going to stay the same because it's still exactly the garment piece that fits my husband. It's just gonna take more stitches and rows to get there. I can select multiple, let's turn the point numbering on. I can select all of these points at once by holding down my cursor, left mouse button, and dragging a box. And now look, all these points are selected and I could easily move all of them exactly where I want very quickly. And I could use my cursor to drag this. I can also use my arrow keys. I can hold down my shift key and use my arrow keys to move faster. Undo. I can use my control key and I can move even faster. So you have a lot of options between your mouse and the arrow keys. So I actually, it's hard to see this point because the measured edge is in the way. And Designing It 9 has a new feature, View Measured Edge, and just toggle it off. And if you want to see it back again, View Measured Edge, turn it right back on. This is nice because in Designing It 8, the only way you could get rid of this was by deleting this measurement. And the way that you delete a measurement is clicking on the measured edge again and clicking on the first of the two points that define that measurement. And you're always going clockwise. So you're going to pick point two and not point seven. So if I click here, that's going to take that edge away. And I'm going to say undo. And I'm going to say view, turn off the measured edges. And this point here, I'm not happy with. And so I'm going to use my arrow keys and this point here to adjust it further. And the same thing. Now, another thing, this point and this point, I would like to be exactly on top of each other. And right now they're not perfectly aligned. And you can fix that new in Designing It 9 by highlighting the points that you want to have aligned. And then you say measure align points. And we're going to want to align them vertically. 
and we're going to want to align it to point number two. So let's put that in there and say, OK. And look at that. It just fixed this point exactly under there. No muss, no fuss. So that's another new feature that's quite nice in Design Init 9. I like to have these measured edges all over the place. I find them very informative. Why? Because let's turn the inches into stitches and rows before it says here 68 colon zero. That means from here to here is 68 stitches. I instantly know where I stand. And if you're knitting something that's for a larger garment, you're going to know whether that's going to fit on your needle bed. Let's add one more measurement from here to here. I also know from here I'm going to knit up 144 rows to get to the armhole. And it's going to be 213 rows to the neckline. And if I change my tensions to a bulky tension, let's say 4.5 and 6, these instantly change and are instantly calibrated for me. And instead of casting on the 68, I only need 44 stitches at this tension gauge and 86 rows to get up to here and only 128 to get to here instead of the original 213. If I say undo, it's going to undo what I just did Redo brings it back. Another fun trick is instead of clicking here, if you say edit, undo, it tells you what the last change is that you're going to undo. And that was the tension change that we just did. And if I say undo again, the next thing that it's going to undo is set the measured length. And that was this. And undo again. That was this. Isn't that kind of handy? And I could redo these and put them right back. So this is another new trick that you have available to you. This is giving a funky measurement because it's a curve. And so it's telling you stitches and rows to go around that curve. So for now, I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to turn this one off. I can zoom out to look at all the pieces. And let's say now we've decided this is for my husband and he really needs the sleeve to be a little bit longer. If I say here, these two buttons, insert length, and in here, it's going to ask me how many rows. And that's because right now I'm in stitches and rows. And so I could add in as few as one or two rows if I wanted. If I wanted to do it in inches, then I would say insert length here. And it's going to ask me how many inches. And let's do something extreme so it, the change is very noticeable on the screen. See the difference? Undo. And you can do the same thing, inserting with. If I was inserting here and I typed in a negative number, it would take out that fabric. So you could go either way. If you have one last thing, if you have this piece and you wanted it flipped in the other direction, you could use this and it flips it. So you have a lot of options. You could decide that you wanted to knit this, rotate this 90 degrees, and you could knit this sideways. You have lots and lots of options. One more thing. When I save this, it will overwrite what I had before, and that's fine. But if I try to go back to standard garment styling, it will say, warning, you've made changes to the left and front right. 
if you go to standard garment styling you will lose these changes so I'm going to say that's okay just for this example and the tensions are all off because I was fussing with them in original pattern drafting let's fix that and then I would save it and if I went back here and looked at it it's put back together as a standard garment shape. So here's, here we are back into original pattern drafting. And because I said it was okay to lose the changes, all of the things that we did with the measured adjustments and moving points around are gone. You have a way of getting back to standard garment styling if you want to, and but you don't have to. So, thank you.